Two years ago, I packed up my life in Michigan and moved to Texas. Pushing myself out of my comfort zone, this decision didn't just change my surroundings. It transformed my mindset, boosted my confidence, and even led me into a financial increase. Here's how stepping into the unknown helped me create a life that I love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, we're going to hop into today's video. So today we're diving into the fact that how I moved from Michigan to Dallas, Texas, how it has completely transformed my life. And when I say completely, like it feels like I got almost like a second chance at life, honestly. And that might sound dramatic, but like so serious. This just comes from like finding myself to losing 45 pounds to just my relationship, honestly, just turning around for the better. This all happened from me just being able to relocate geographically. And I have now been in Texas for just shy of two years. So we'll just give you guys a little bit of an update here on my experience here in Dallas. So if you guys are interested in learning how my life has changed since I moved to Dallas, stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, we have to talk weather. Honestly, I feel like this might have been the biggest reason for me to move in the first place. Weather plays such a role on your mental health. And if you live in the North, you know it gets cold in the North. It stays cold a little bit longer in the North. And honestly, in Michigan, she just be doing her own thing when it comes to the weather. Like we literally get maybe a two or three solid months of summer. Like for the majority of the time, it's going to be cold. The only thing that I enjoy about Michigan weather is fall because they don't really have a fall here in Texas. So that is truly the only thing that I miss. But like other than that, like I don't miss the cold stuff at all. It does get cold here in Dallas, but it's like not really cold to me. They might have one frost week. Like the first year I moved here, they had an ice storm. But guess what? They don't know anything about being cold or being icy or being snowy. So they just shut the whole city down and you kind of just get to work from home and relax. So like, they don't do that in the North. Like you going to school in a blizzard. So it was kind of just like a breath of fresh air. Like if the weather is bad outside, I can still do my job from inside and they don't care. Like nothing's open. Nothing is gonna be open for you to go to. But when I say the weather played a big role is because I suffered from seasonal depression so bad and I didn't even realize it. I just thought I was a depressed ass person because it's so dark and so gloomy and the weather is just not good for such a long time. I only felt a sense of like vibrantness in the summer. And it's just like, who wants to live like that? So just like quality of life alone is a big enough reason to move to another place. And even when you think about certain health conditions that you have, like I have asthma, Texas is, I mean, Dallas, Texas specifically, is not a place where it's safe for asthma because I think it's too metropolitan. So I haven't had too many problems here with asthma. I had asthma more back in Michigan, but like it's really kind of gets triggered by like allergies and things like that. And depending on where you are, it can really benefit like certain health conditions that you may have. So they say like people who have lupus, they should live in San Diego. So it's just certain climates are better for certain people, certain conditions. Just think about it like that. And even just besides like the climate or the conditions, I feel like different places hold different vibrations. And it was something about being in Michigan. It just wasn't high vibrational for me. It's it it just did not make me feel good. Like sure, like being around family and friends feels good and I love to go home and hang out with family and friends, but it just feels like the vibration just wasn't there for me. I just feel like there's so much more to life than your hometown. Like there's so much more opportunity than your hometown. And even just me in general, I have a communications degree in marketing, my master's in marketing, but those kind of jobs were not in Michigan. I make 30,000, well, when I moved, I got an offer for $30,000 more in Dallas, and that pushed me over to six figures. And it's just like, why not move to a place where you can have a better quality of life, and financially be in a better place, the apartments are like much newer, the weather is nice, like honestly, weather and location alone, best thing that could have ever happened to me. And like, I still may experience a slight bit 
of the seasonal depression because I mean Texas does have like a dark season I'm not gonna call it fall because that's not what it is it's kind of just like that December January time where it's just like eh but that's, I feel like it's like that anywhere but it literally only lasts for like maybe January and then it's just right back to being sunny and it's just like with the weather being so nice you can do so many more things outside like you don't have to worry about oh we got a park it's cold it's snowy like it's never that y'all i can go outside and walk around like my neighborhood um i feel a i feel safe in my neighborhood the weather is just great um they have lots of like outdoor workouts and it's like if it's warmer more throughout the year you can do these things more frequently and i just love that honestly for myself so yeah it's going to be living alone like and finding myself because baby i was so afraid to live on my own in michigan like even like straight out of college i moved in with my boyfriend and it wasn't because like oh i just want to live with him it was more so because i had a legit fear of living alone like somebody's gonna break into my window somebody's gonna be following me like i just had this irrational fear of something crazy and wild just happening so i really had to grow in that moving here by myself it was literally just me and my dog um i obviously still was a little bit nervous but at the same time i live in a nice apartment it is gated you have to have a code to get in so i just felt like a certain amount of safety like here and then i had my dog so i know he was gonna let me know if something was gonna happen i made sure i made like the precautions like i had a little door thing that i can put under the door to stop like if somebody was trying to come in but like i just never had any problems here and i never felt like truly unsafe here at least just like in my apartment space i never felt like on like not safe and I, it's so funny because i actually just made a tiktok and i was talking like with my door open and people were commenting like close your door close your door and i was in the parking garage of my apartment and it's just like i just i know this is um this might not be super good but i just feel like a sense of safety here so i, I just felt fine i honestly would not do that shit in michigan though like it's so crazy like the stuff i do is is so dumb like don't do this but like i've had nights where i forget to lock the door and like john he just be saying like you act like you're not from detroit like i just it just it feels like so safe here and i know that's not realistic because crime and anything can happen anywhere but at the same time that's still a big win for me because when i tell you guys i was terrified i just was scared and also it just gave me the opportunity to really grow and like sit with myself and just really grow and sit my sit with myself and figure out who sierra is i've always been surrounded by like so many friends so many family so much family and it's just like but who am i outside of my comfort zone i guess you can call it i was extremely comfortable um in michigan i was extremely afraid i was afraid to take risks even just moving here was a crazy risk because people are like, you're gonna, you gonna move away from your whole family? You're gonna move away from your man? Like I had to do long distance relationship because it was just like, I got to a point where I'm like, something has to change. Like I do not feel good in the space that I am in. And I know people, some people say like moving away is not gonna solve your problems, but moving away can enhance your life so much. It gives you the time and the space and the opportunity to grow alone on your own, meet new people, learn some real survival skills, learn how to just get shit done by yourself. Like you always have somebody at home, like you can call people, pull up, but it's just like, and I'm not saying like isolation is a good thing, but I feel like everybody needs a season of isolation or a season to where it's just them and where they learn to love themselves. They learn to figure out the things that they like and just it be you, God and yourself, like all in the same space. And I just feel like I really benefit. I really benefited from being here for a year by myself. Um, my fiance just moved here October 2023. We got engaged. I lost so much weight, y'all. My ring is like literally hanging on my thread and then this kind of brings me just to my next point like being in your hometown i feel like it can kind of stifle you from actually going after the things that you want to go after without all the judgment i feel like sometimes you may say oh i want to start this i want to start that and your family be like 
for your friends to be like, you want to do that? Are you sure? Like planting like negative seeds of doubt. But if you move away, you only have yourself and you just have to do what you have to do. I found so much more support with like strangers or just like people that I'm meeting versus like, you know, back at home. And I was like no longer surrounded by like my comfort zone and it really just had to push me to do other stuff outside of everybody else. Because honestly, back at home, I wouldn't do anything like by myself maybe, but go to the gym. So like here, obviously that was the first thing I did. I got to a gym, I found a workout class that I liked, I found me a church, um, started to like interact with more people at work. So it's like stuff that was very hard for me because I have like some seriously bad social anxiety me moving away it forced me to kind of just get over that and i'm not gonna say like i'm completely social anxious free because that's not the case at all but i'm a lot better at it than i was before honestly in a new environment it really helped me kind of change my mindset and be able to feel like almost unstoppable and, a, and can accomplish like any dream that i want because another thing about staying in your hometown is like you only see people you only see people's success go so far like you only see your family go so far you only see your friends go so far like everybody kind of does i mean i know everybody's different but everybody kind of just does the same thing around you like you know their routine you know like what's going on in their life but like stepping to a new environment in a new space you see how people are different like you see more opportunities that you can go after just honestly being in different spaces just opens up so many different doors and opportunities for you. If you move to a place like Dallas, if you move to a place like LA, if you move to a place like Atlanta, if you move to a place like New York, and I know these are big like metropolitan places, but places like those have more opportunities for people who are trying to like branch out and do like other stuff. Like if you want a career in a certain field, you might have to move to a different place to A, get paid your worth and to B, find something that actually works for you there because sometimes that field is just not at home and if it is it's like they're paying pennies honestly also say like my perspective on relationships changed a lot with me moving here by myself and like being long distance for a year honestly i really put myself first and i didn't do this like with a plan like oh i'm moving i'm moving without him i'm putting myself first like it was nothing like that. I was legit sad that he did not move with me like immediately. I'm like, okay, I just got a job. You need to be applying for jobs. And he just like, yeah, okay, okay. But I don't think he really thought that I was gonna move. And, and like, honestly, I didn't know this was gonna happen so fast. I literally told my therapist one day like, yeah, I think I'm gonna move to Dallas. And she was like, oh, for real? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, honestly, the first job that I really wanted, I got. And I got it like within a month, y'all. So it was just like, everything happened so fast. And it was just like, he still had his job. So he just kind of like stayed at his job. And we had to do the long distance thing. And I feel like I was so engulfed in my relationship that I never had the opportunity to put myself first. Just like I told you guys in the beginning, I moved with him just because I was like afraid to like be alone in the physical space. My dad told me this like, and this is like the, the true beauty of having a good dad. Like he told me, he like, I really think that you should live on your own first just to like learn yourself and figure yourself out and i was like i ain't trying to hear that and like i was not trying to hear that but like it is so true that as a woman do not go live with a man at first like you need to have that opportunity and that space to grow with yourself growing up i just feel like i didn't have a really good example of putting yourself first going after your dreams just being unstoppable. I saw a lot of people just kind of like fall victim to their circumstances and not try to change it, not try to be something bigger, not try to be something better. We as women are taught and bred to be like, oh, you need a man. Like a man is like the end all be all and living by myself, y'all a thousand miles away from him. And I'm not saying we broke up, but we were in a long distance relationship, but it allowed me to decenter him from my life. Because when I say I did not make certain decisions because I was always thinking about the relationship, that does not allow you to grow. It just does not. 
Like you have to be able to do stuff on your own. And I know everybody is not like this, but a lot of girls are like bred to be like, okay, get your man, lock him down, get married, like all of that stuff. Even just with the Janae Aiko and the Queen Aja stuff, like how people are like, oh, he don't want you, y'all not married. But like, why are we pressuring women to be locked in with a man before they love themselves, before they know themselves? Like people are rushing people to have kids and get married, but that is such a huge commitment. Like we actually just did a couples counseling a few months ago at our church. And like, it is a true commitment that you cannot break. It is you, God, and him, and y'all locked in for life. I don't care if you get a divorce. I know the Bible says you can get a divorce if you do adultery, but like in reality, that, that divorce is not real. You locking yourself to someone for life, and that is a serious, serious decision that we need to teach first instead of just telling them that it's the right thing to do. Make sure it's the right man. Make sure you know yourself. Make sure you love yourself. Make sure you've done everything that you wanted to do in life before you lock it down with a man like so serious because guess what the moment you become in a serious relationship or you become engaged or you become a wife or you become a mom that's your new life and i know people say oh i do both i do this i do that but like give yourself the chance to do it without all the extras like give yourself a chance to go after everything that you want before you lock yourself down to a man and i'm saying this as an engaged lady right here but like, seriously, if I can go back in time, I wouldn't move in with him. Like, first things first, like I would give myself the space and opportunity to just be an individual. And I'm not saying we wouldn't be together, but I was too engulfed. I was too centered around like being in a relationship. A relationship is not the end all be all. You need to love yourself first. You need to put yourself first. You need to figure out what you want. You need to figure out what is expected. You need to figure out your boundaries. You got to figure out what the f you're going to take and what you're not going to take. Like you have to be able to learn how to stand on business and you cannot stand on business if you are engulfed in something. And I'm sorry, this just went on a whole little tangent, but it really just changed my perspective on relationships being away for that year. So I highly encourage if you're a person who hasn't had a serious relationship or anything like that, move away. Go do something different. A relationship is not the end all be all, guys. This is the last thing that I'm gonna hit on for today because we're at the 20 minute mark and I don't wanna hold you guys this time. But being in Texas has helped me become a healthy person. I have lost 45 pounds since I've been here. And it's like, I do the same things here that I was doing at home, but I just think the environment is different. Like when I tell you guys the weather plays such a big role, cause like sometimes I feel like I don't even exercise as hard as I did at home. I just get outside y'all. I just walk outside. Like some Saturdays I'll wake up and just walk six miles. The weather is so great. Like it's so, I mean, it's hot right now, but like you sweat in, like it's just, it's a, it's a space to really like relieve stress, calm your mind like walking is such a great thing and then also like they have opportunities to do different workout classes like they have the soul cycle they have the solid core and i know they have solid core now in michigan but like you have to go to like you know the bougie areas to do those kind of things but like here they're all over there's something in every single suburb to where you don't necessarily have to leave the suburb. Now, I do live in a North Dallas suburb, but I'm literally two exits from Dallas, so I'm not far. There's more space and opportunity here. There's more like healthy options here, y'all. I can go to Salad and Go, get a breakfast salad or a breakfast burrito and a lunch salad for under $10. Like they don't have stuff like that there and they might have it now, I've been gone two years, but I still feel like in order to get those things, you have to go to the rich bougie areas to have those nice things. And if you are a person who doesn't live in those rich bougie areas, it doesn't make sense to drive out there for a salad. So like, I feel like it's important that we cultivate and we be in an environment that makes us the best person, honestly. It just helped me really separate myself from like everything. And when I say like environment plays such a huge role, I've never been skinny, like 
never. And I don't think I have anybody who is skinny around me, whether it be like family or friends. And it's just like, if we all doing the same thing, how am I going to grow? I have to separate myself from the nonsense. And I'm not trying to be judgy or anything like that. But like I have gone so long without feeling comfortable in my skin. I feel amazing now. Like just amazing on the on the inside of my head. Like mentally, I feel mentally clear. I feel youthful. I feel like I look good. I feel good. Literally every item of clothes that I own right now is too big. And it's just like being in a different place allowed me to be the best person. It allowed me to reach that higher self. And I'm not saying I'm at the highest point of where I want to be, but I'm on the way. But sometimes it takes you separating yourself from the bullshit to be on the way to the top. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to bash family. I'm not trying to bash, bash friends. But like your environment is going to hold you back. You cannot take everybody with you. Everybody cannot go with you. Sometimes you have to leave the destination of where you are to get to the destination that you're supposed to be. Your life is so serious. You get one life and you don't want to get to the end of life. And it's just like, what if, what if, what if, what if I moved out of state? What if I did this? What if I did that? And if you don't have anything holding you back, get the on, like seriously. You are missing out on so much quality of life, staying in the same place, stuck, doing the same thing, every weekend going out, every weekend drinking, every, like, and you can still do that stuff in another place, but, like, you're holding yourself back being surrounded in the same bullshit. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but like I said, I just feel like a nice sense of self. I feel great in my body, and I just feel like moving to Dallas has really just leveled up my life and I just wish I would have done it sooner but I told y'all I was scared like I literally had the idea to move to Texas in 2020 like right before the pandemic happened right before I got laid off I was talking to my therapist same therapist she was like oh go for it but then I kind of just chickened out but like what would my life would have been like if I would have moved here four years ago you know what I mean and you don't want to have to live with those regrets so this got real serious real quick, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know somebody who's thinking about moving away or if you're thinking about moving away, like share this video, like this video, write your questions down below. Like it's so good to be in a good place y'all, but sometimes we just gotta move our location. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share this video with a friend. Bye guys. Eating low man, it's child for now, child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry a tie, your child for now, child, child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she makin' ass shake, breaking that bait till her back break.